Oh no. Oh. 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 We should move the brakes. Oh. What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be building a backyard roller coaster in one day. But there's a problem. Uh, we're not engineers. We're engine nubs. But we built this stinking water slide and it works and it doesn't fall over. So you know what? Maybe we can accomplish it. We're making this thing out of two by fours, PVC pipes. It's gonna be quite the build. You're not gonna wanna miss it. And if this video gets 100,000 likes, we're gonna turn our backyard into a backyard theme park and open up to our friends. Could be epic. Let's get Buildy. So we have our building assembly line. First, we have Robert measuring the two by fours into 20 inch sections. That's gonna be how wide the track is. When he's done measuring, we're gonna cut all of them. And then over here, we have a drill press where we're gonna be cutting little concave ends in the wood so that the pipes fit into it. And then over here, we're gonna be putting all the tracks together. When we're done with that, we're gonna bring it to the top of our hill, which is gonna be the drop. And then we're gonna have some like crazy fun little additions to the track. So let's do it. Jeff, what are you doing? I'm making a piece of wood with the concave and the pipe fits in between. Oh, cool. So we're using this drill press and it's quite fun and fancy. If I do say so myself. We have to make 120 of these. I've made like five. Whoa. And it's been like 20 minutes. When do you think you'll be done? Chris, what are you doing? So I am building the track. So what you gotta do, hey! You gotta put a pilot hole in. Then we have these T25 screws, the little star. And then you screw them in to the two by four and then it makes a really nice solid track. All right, we're gonna have one wheel on the top, one wheel on the side, one wheel on the bottom on both sides so it'll keep it nice and locked on. The concave that Jeffrey is putting into the wood is so that the pipe fits nicely inside of it. Rob, what are you doing? Cutting wood. For Jeffrey to cut holes in it and then for Chris to put screws in it. So we have finished the roller coaster track piece, the first one. This is so solid. It looks like a ladder kick on it. <laughs> okay, you're gonna bend, you're bending Whoa. the pipe. This kind of track's not necessarily meant for adults, but we'll figure it out, right? So we're gonna actually <laughs> test the track first. We're gonna put 250 pounds down it on the cart and we'll see if it breaks or not. If it doesn't, then maybe it's safe for us. So the next thing we have to do is make a whole bunch of track and then we'll be putting it all together. So we've got some of the track up here. We're gonna have to build supports. It's gotta be off the ground. What I gotta do next is use this heat gun to heat up the pipe and that's how we're gonna be making the curves of the pipe. Honestly, I'm not too sure if this is gonna work. Proper way to do this is with hot sand, but that's gonna take way too long. We gotta build this thing in one day. This thing is gonna take an absolute eternity to build. Looks like we got a pretty good bend here. Now we just put this cold water on there. That's bend. <laughs> Dang, look at that. That's a nice smooth bend. Very good, Chris. That'll be perfect for the roller coaster. Very good. All right, so it looks like everything is working out as planned. It's just taking forever, that's all. This is like how many more I have to do of making these things. I quit. Chris. What? I quit. What? It takes so long. Much, much later. Time update. I'm still cutting divots into the wood. My pile is still pretty big. So look at this huge track that we built so far. So it's gonna come down the hill, go up a little bump, and then it goes, it's gonna go straight up, like really high so that you don't go past the track and then you're gonna go backwards. That's how it's gonna work, or that's how it's supposed to work. I wanna go down the water slide. Go do it, right now. Go do it. Do I'm it, do it. Do it. Go, Jeff, go, 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 right go, go. We need a nice little water break on this giant water slide we built. Make sure to check out that video at the end of this video. <laughs> also, if you give this video 100,000 likes, we're gonna turn our backyard into an, an entire theme park. Here we go, sending it. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> when do you go again? I think, it, I think you're a little you dry. Think you should go again? Okay. A little dry, a little too dry. Whoa! 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 You got a lot more speed that time. Woo! So once we get a roller coaster, we're gonna have a roller coaster and a water slide, and this is starting to look like an awesome theme park. That's what you got there. This is the final track piece. Ooh. So this is gonna be kind of like a pretty big slant over here, like this. We wanna be able to, we wanna go up, go back down, and go back through the whole track. If we open this theme park, we're gonna have to sign a liability waiver that says, you may get injured, your life is in our hands. So I've got bad news and I've got good news. Which one do you want first? Good news. The good news is, I think we just need one more track and then we're done building tracks. What if we, we build one, 
without our little lumby poo and see what happens. Does that make sense? Wait, so you don't want to boots and slouse? I might want to slouse and sleeps, but no, no sploocoons. What about a floop de doop? A floop de doop? What about a scloop de sn snooped? All right, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> the bad news is it's 3.52, which means we have one hour left for our work day, which means we're not going to finish in one day. If you count eight hour work day yeah. as eight hours, yeah. it's technically not 24 hours, which is one day. Yeah, so if we can finish it in 24 hours, we worked eight hours today. If we can finish it tomorrow, which we will, 24 hours. Boom. I, I think I'm almost done drilling. Guys, I've been on the drill press literally all day. This is like real fast. I'm impressed. Look, he did all of these. <laughs> I did all these wooden beams. <sighs> wow, you're my hero. That's why they call me. No, 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 no! Captain Summertime. Thanks, Captain. You're welcome. Anyways, back to the drill press. How many more do you think I need? Okay, so you got three, so Maybe like 47. What? I'm kidding. <laughs> I think you need 10 more. 10 more? Don't quote me on that. All right, I'm gonna make 10 more. I'm done drill pressing. Good job, Jeff. I've done all of them. We're all dead because it's like 100 I've degrees done outside. So many. The next day. So now it's day two, hour number nine. Today we're going to be building some supports. So this is a basic support. Put that there. And another one on that side. Another one on this side. Just Tomorrow. like that. Same exact. Screw it in. And you're good to go. So we got to do supports all the way down. This is going to take a long time. Then we're going to make a nice hill here. A swoop did he do. And a floop did he too. So we need 20 of these, we need 40 of these, and then we need 20, 35 inch pieces. So we have got a bunch of wood cut, and now it is time to assemble the Avengers. I mean, assemble the structure. This is what it's supposed to look like. Now we're just gonna screw it down. Let's straight in the trash can. We're gonna add the supports that we just created the first track. So we gotta bring this down to some flat ground. Bring it around town. All right, you drill them in and we'll bring them over. Okay. We made lots of supports for this. Uh, we made 20. And we still make, need to make a lot of more. All right, so you have one, two, three, and eight supports. Dude, that looks legit. Magic Mountain, hire us, bros. We can build you a coaster on a budget. We're gonna be the only open theme park right now. Dude, Dude, this this looks cool. legit. This is actually so cool. See, these wheels are, are huge. Uh oh. Oh no. It's gonna have to be angled a bit. So you're gonna have a wheel on top, a wheel on the side, and a wheel underneath. So that's gonna keep the cart on the track. But yeah, we just gotta angle it so it doesn't hit the wood frame. Uh oh. It's creaking. Dude, this is insane. Dude, this looks so cool. Well, now we gotta do this. One, two, three, four, five more times. Big yikes. Five more times. Our drop is complete. We have to do a walk test. Because if you can't even walk on it, don't even expect to be going down on a coaster. Start your walk. Can I walk on the ones without supports underneath? No, that's gonna, that's gonna break. You sure? Yes. The way will be distributed like more. Yeah. You know? I'll just step on the ones with supports. I mean, it seems solid. Yeah, dude. Now it's time for the hill. Dude, this is sketchy. Is it going to be fine? Yeah, just go. Yeah, well, fine. now we have a ladder for your zip line. Dude, someone could zip line and someone could go on the coaster at the same time. It's going to be freaking so much speed. Dude, oh look. Oh my gosh. So all we need to do is make the hill and then another little drop and then one hill to like stop the speed. So see how that goes. What if you don't stop? What if you just launch off into and... the pool? Well, you have to pull for safety. You'll get in the pool. That's oh. your, that's how you'll be fine. We have a lot of work to do today. We got to get on it. Uh, so apparently there's a gift for Ryan, Jeff and I. Chris is going to go get it. It's from him to us. I hope it's a high five. What is that? That's a gift. Those so are... this gift is from the neighbors. Oh, what? What? Chick-fil-A Chick gift what? card? What? Oh Whoa. my god! <laughs> I gave him the go-kart that we had. Oh, you oh. did? Yeah, so then they, as a thank you, they gave us a hundred dollar gift card. Chick-fil-A gift card. Dude. Dude, neighbors. You're awesome. Thank you. We thank love you, you, neighbors. Thank you, neighbors. Right now we're uh, using the heat guns to bend the pipe for our, our incline. So Jeff, you should probably pour the water on, on your side now. Okay, if I can get off of this and it doesn't move, then we're good. 
All right, get off. Okay, let's see. Please stay. No. Rip. I think we have to like over bend it, you know? Okay, so now actually- Dude, could, don't uh, punch that. Go, oh, I want to punch that. Dude, punching a little bucket of water is fun. Flip and punch it. Yeah. So now we're working on our cart. We have the wheels on this piece of wood and it actually slides pretty well. Whoa! See, that's why we need more wheels. Look at look at how nice. Look at that is. action. That rolls quite nicely. Nice and smooth. That's very smooth. So the next difficult thing is getting a seat on there. We have a boat chair and we have a uh, big Joe. All right, well, let's finish this cart. Today we are unfortunately not able to finish the roller coaster. So we're taking tomorrow to as well. But if you subtract um, an hour lunch from today and yesterday, that leaves us with 14 hours falls under that building roller coaster in 24 hours. Tomorrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up the cart, finish up this end. I don't think the scaffold is gonna work out. So we might take it down. We're done for today. But really hyped with the progress we got. We got literally almost the Thing we'll see you guys tomorrow. The next morning. It is day three building this roller coaster. How many hours it's been? It's been like 16? Yeah. 17? Well, 14 if you don't count lunch. 10 hours left. Otherwise, we have technically not built a roller coaster in less than a day. Mm -hmm. Rom's not here yet, but Chris and I are gonna be working in the car. It's that, and then the, the end of the track is all we need to do. So I think we can do it. Rob's here. Hey, Rob. The cart is finally done. We decided not to add the bottom wheels because one, we might run into um, these supports here. And two, I don't think we need it because we're not gonna be going on loops. And the reason for wheels on the bottom is for when people go on loops that you don't fall. Okay, so, so we should bring it to the top of the hill and see what happens. And then we can see if it holds our weight well. Okay. Let's push it up. Let's go, Jeff. Let's bring it up. Oh, oh my gosh, this is, it's so smooth. It's really smooth. It is really smooth. Wait, we need someone at the bottom to stop it. To see, well, oh, actually, no, oh, we should bricks. move the bricks. That would have been really bad. Our car would have been destroyed. Are you ready? Go. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Dang, with some more weight on there, I think it's gonna work. Let's see if we can get a little bit of speed with Rob. We won't go up all the way. Not from the top though. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, uh -oh. one. Oh! Go up the bottom. Oh! Oh. oh, what the? The wheel fell off. All the wheels are in place. Something's not right. Well, it's a good thing you weren't going faster. Oh, I know. No. Okay, so we gotta support it more. Let's do this. He's riding another piece of wood to reinforce the uh, little cock. We're hoping now that it'll, the wheels will not come off the track because of this piece of wood. After lots of changes to the cart and the track, this is take two of the roller coaster drop. First weighted drop, we got two center blocks. Three, First weighted test. Two, one. Oh, that's a lot faster. Dang, I think the cart's good. We have to increase the weight quite a bit until we know that it's strong enough. So now we have 120 pounds. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two, two one, one, go. Oh no. Oh. Dude, if that was one of us, that'd be bad. <sighs> this is, this cart's a nightmare. This is for sure a clunky coaster. Don't worry, we're gonna make this work. As we adjusted the track, we're gonna see if it works with 120 pounds again. So wish us luck. Last two, three, two, one, go. Uh-oh. Whoa! That worked! Oh! It's gonna do the same exact thing if we were on it, <laughs> except go higher, so we gotta reinforce that backside. So once we get one of us on this thing, that's when the video's over, because we keep playing on it, it's bound to fall off. We're putting 190 or 180 pounds on this for a test, and then we're gonna hopefully build the courage for one of us to go down it, so let's hope that it holds at 180. All right, this is a, this last block equals 180 on, pounds. Carefully. 180? All right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Chop it, bro. <laughs> so we strengthened the, the little ramp at the end so it's not gonna fall off. Yeah, so let, let, let's hope for the best, guys. Okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh. oh. dude. No way. It that works. It would have worked with one of us on it. I feel like we need to test it like three more times just to make sure. I know, that could be a fluke. This is the second time it worked, That's but true. with a little more weight on it. And then who's going? Chris, are you gonna do it? Okay, this is probably the final test before we do human trial. trial. Also, we're changing the name from the clunky coaster to the death trap, so. All right, three, two, one. 
Okay, you ready? Go, 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 go. Go! It worked twice it in worked a row. twice in a row. Dude, it made it all the way to the end. So now we're having a debate on who's going on the roller coaster first. None of us trust it. This video, I would say, would be complete if we get one person to go down it. Someone needs to go down the freaking death trap or conky coaster. I would have gone down it if we didn't have all these trials where they just fell off. I mean, we got a nice comfy seat on there now. We had two successful trials with 100 and... 80 pounds. And I I'm think there was 210 on there one time. I'm 165, Rob's 145, and then Chris is 170. So I feel like Robert is the no most way. elegant. Bro, you're the lightest. You're the lightest. No way. Rob, the lighter, the better. No, because it did it with 180 pounds. Who's gonna go? I'm definitely not going because I weigh 172 pounds. Guys, push me up a quarter up the drop. At Magic Mountain, there's a the roller coaster called Colossus. Is this one called the Minimalist? Dude, you're heavy. Why don't we put. Dude, I'm gonna freaking. Voila! First human trial. Oh, dude, I just don't trust this thing. I don't trust it one bit. Jeff's at the halfway point. Are you ready, Chris? Yeah. Shoot. Whoa! Dude, that's fun! <laughs> dude, that would be so fun from the top. I'm scared. Send it from there. Can you like see my trajectory and then put it where I'm gonna land? Well, your trajectory is gonna be straight no matter what. I think I trust it from here. I'm basically two feet from the top. I'm gonna do it. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Dude, I did it! Good job, Jeff. Dude, that was terrifying. Guys, I went down a death trap. The we, clunky coaster. The clunky coaster, whatever you want to call it. And I'm really happy that I went down this coaster. That was terrifying, but honestly, it was really fun. You guys want to try it? No. No? Chris, I'm, you want to try it? No. Chris, are you thinking about doing it? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it feels like a legit roller coaster. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ding, dingy.